brought to you almost live from the dude in the basement studios. Why? Because that's where the good stuff is. It sips, suds, and smokes with your smoking host, the good old boys. It's sippin' time. Hey, yeah, it's sippin' time, and welcome to this Sips episode, where everything good in life is worth discussing. This is the only ex-Amish award-winning radio show that leaves you feeling more dirty uh, when you're done. Not after this episode. No, well, not no, after I, this I episode. I feel more dirty already, but... How is this a sips episode? We're not sipping anything here. Oh, well, you speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying to kill the Rona, baby. So, all right. So, this is Made Man Bob. And joining me today are Made Man Brent. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm not wearing any pants. You never wear pants. That's I know. Why we have all the hand day. sanitizer today. Exactly. You're just being, like, repetitive, you know. Made Man, uh, Made Man Maury. Good morning, Bob. Feeling very sparkly clean today. And good old boy, Justin. Good morning, Bob. Clean as a whistle. Oh, God. <laughs> and good old boy, Army. Thank you, Bob. Minty fresh over here. Minty Just fresh. Ruined my childhood with the Keebler Elves with that one. <laughs> so, all right. So <laughs> our sip segments, uh, you know, we're we're still the best thing on at 2 to 2.45 a.m. I think we can go all the way to 3. No? Yeah, I think we can reach for it today. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, it's not going to happen. There's no way. There's no way. 20 minutes of entertainment here, folks. You heard it here first. Right. So our sip segments are all about wine, distilled spirits, tea, and coffee. But this is a special episode for the uh, COVID-19 crisis. And with our twist on hand sanitizers. Hence, it should not be a sips episode. It should be an application episode. Speak but if yourself. you want to sip it, sip it. Yeah, speak for yourself. Right. Uh, so we've gathered uh, samples of hand sanitizers from all of our favorite distilleries that created hand sanitizers in the middle of this pandemic. And we want to acknowledge all these uh, kind and thoughtful contributions that these guys are doing. You know, a lot of them, even the small guys, are making this and giving it out, you know, as a public service. And and it costs a lot more money to make a bottle of hand sanitizer than it does to make a bottle of whiskey because you got to remember this is, you know, a hundred and you know, 180 damn proof, you know, 170 it's proof. It's usually not ethanol, too. It's isopropyl, right? And that, that is why we're well, no, it's Well, I mean, no, it's it's ethanol, but, you know, they put a little isopropyl in to denature it. So uh, so, so you yeah. don't drink it, you will go blind. Ah, blind is well, a rough word. you are just wearing glasses. I mean, the, w, you the WHO put out to all the distilleries through the ATF a recipe, which was ethanol at, at 80%. At 80% with a little bit of isopropyl, some water, and some glycerin. And that's pretty much what everybody in the distilling community is is following. So, But we just wanted to share with you some of their uh, do-good, feel-good stories and to give you guys a little bit of a mental break because we've all been locked in the basement uh, you know, with every idiot on TV telling us we're all going to die. I wish he would just put some pants on, man. Just put some pants on, Brent. Not a chance. Not so a we're chance. trying to lighten this up a I've little bit and have months. a little bit of damn fun. So. You know what? Two months without having to wear pants is always a great thing very freeing so we're doing we did a we did a zoom video conference with a wine tasting the other day and they wouldn't let me just do the you know the uh, blazer and, and button down and then get up at the end of the thing with just my boxers on they think the producers nixed that what's going on with it man should have wore a tutu. That's it. Tutu's yeah. the best. Tutu, I do it. Well, the sanitizers uh, and distilleries who made the sanitizer we're going to be discussing today, we have from the following distilleries, uh, MB Rowland, Rabbit Hole. We have one from the Bourbon Mafia. Private hand sanitizer? Such Manifest Distillery. Single barrel. Single barrel. No, no, it's not. No. Jep the Creed, Iron Smoke, Wilderness Trail. Uh, Buffalo Trace Sazerac. Got to complete the collection. Uh, Burlock and Barrel, Kings County, Angels Envy, and Heaven Hill. Nice. So we've got varying amounts of information on each of these. I mean, some of them have you know put out a lot of data on how much they've made and where it's gone and all that. Some of them are just, you know, especially the smaller guys, they're just 
working as hard as I can just to make it and just try and get it out. Um, and again, with the smaller guys, it costs them a lot more money to make, you know, a bottle of sanitizer and, you know, they're not making the money they are, but they're still giving it out. So, uh, you know, let's hear it for the, you know, let's hear it for the people that are actually, you know, doing all the stuff that, that they're supposed to be doing. And, and with that, I have, I have for all of us in this time of COVID crisis, a little song. It's the Wiggles. So I was going to say, you got to wiggle, wiggle if you waddle. Yeah, it's the Wiggles. Come on. No? No? Wiggle. Fabulous. Come on. It's Anthony and Jeff. Jeff's the one, the purple one. I love Jeff. Jeff's the, Jeff's the I awesome. I have a six-year-old. I don't have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, she's going to have a wonderful childhood. Yeah. Look where she's going to end yeah, up. It's okay. all about yeah. YouTube these days. Dear God. Uh, yeah, the fact that you're raising children scares the hell out of me. I'm not doing it. My wife is. Yeah. I'm just there. It's mm-hmm. even scarier. The fact that you're, the kids, the fact you're there scares the heck out of me. So, yeah. well, good old boy Justin is going to get the honors of going over our SIPs ratings today. We're going to spin the wheel of accents and see what we can come up with him. So, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and we've come up with Tony Montana. German. Tony Montana going to do a SIP rating for you now. Ah, one sip. Boy, I actually feel dirtier now. <laughs> you dirty, dirty little devil! Two sip, man. It's tingling. It's tingling. Oh no, it's burning. It's burning. Ah! That's what she said. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> you know, the spray. That's the spray. Yeah. Awesome. That's right. It's that's the sound of clean, man. Free sip. Sorrow aroma. Dark fruit with a hint of gasolina. Are you getting aromas of cat piss? What are you smelling this? <laughs> okay. Now we have four sip. Bartender, another round of sanitizer on me. Oh, that's just bad. Okay, everybody. Drinks on the house. <laughs> okay. Five sip. Finally, it's okay to walk around all day smelling like whiskey. You smell like death. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. (laughs) So incredibly. Oh, God, why did you do this? So incredibly sad. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, thank you, Tony. You got it, man. The world is yours. Okay. (laughs) The world is yours. Say hello to my little friend. So, I actually almost bought that gun a long time mm, ago. You did not. Really? Oh, yeah. The yeah. gun? Yeah, the one the from gun. the movie. Oh, wow. I knew a guy that uh, bought a lot of the stuff from that rental company, and he had the one, and I, I thought very seriously about getting it, and I didn't do it. Good and investment. I greatly regret it because, yeah, because it, 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 it turned out to be a pretty damn good investment for the guy that got it. So How much did you make? <sighs> Increased his uh, money to the tune of about tenfold. Nice. Yeah, in a few short years. So, so like a bottle of Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Van Winkle yeah. Ten. There yeah. you go. So, mm. all right, we're going to go to our first uh, sanitizer. We're going to have Justin tell us about that one. Okay. MB Roland. The MB Roland Distillery was founded in 2009 in Pembroke, Kentucky, on a former Amish dairy farm. They make bourbon, rye, malt, and wheat whiskey, as well as agave spirit. Can't call it tequila. Ain't it from Mexico? No, you cannot. Flavored liqueurs and bottles of cocktails. They have made a lot of gallons of sanitizer. Yeah, today. I didn't. I didn't uh, hear back from in time more with an more than one. number, but yeah, a lot. Yeah. Well, I, hell, I got. Two half gallons of it myself. <laughs> right. So I that, know they made a lot. that's how this whole thing came yeah. about. Is I needed some, and they had. They were one of the few that actually had it for sale because a lot of the guys in Kentucky were just you know giving it away to all the local people. And I'm yeah. like, how clean do people in Kentucky need to be? There's 49 other states, guys. Come on. And but you know they didn't start out too clean, did they? Well, it is Kentucky. Um, but I was able to actually get two half gallons. I got one here for the house and one at the office. And uh, yeah, I've been to your office there with the, with the sanitizer on the desk there. When you walk in, it says uh, hand sanitizer, please pump slowly. No slower. 
<laughs> well, you know why? I got a I got an old like soft soap container and I washed it out and I put the sanitizer in. Well, this is not like Purell. It's all this sanitizer is very watery. So the first person that walked in goes up and presses down on it really hard. And it shoots Where right over it? their hand, right under their pants, right under their crotch. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, you got a little excited there, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> now, that's a closing. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> it is a little, it is a little watery. Yeah. Well, it all, it's all a little watery. What are you going to do? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's pass that bottle around. What do you guys think? Yeah, none, uh, none of those hand sanitizers today are gelled. Are they all? Uh, no, they're, all, they're, they're not gel at all. They're liquid. They're liquid they look like vodka. White dog. Do but they don't taste like Do not drink them. Good. We cannot stress this enough. Do not drink them. It is bad for your health. I'm drinking it. Yeah. Slowly. Delicious. Yeah. Very slowly. Well, yeah. you're a seasoned professional. You'll drink anything. So there's no there's methanol in there. You're good. Right? in the morning. You know. So, well, what, uh, Maury, you went to med school. What happened? Isopropyl theoretically, the, theoretically, please. he just you know touches people's junk. Uh, what's <laughs> <laughs> that's in the bus station? It. That's not at the at work. At work, he's actually serious. That's at the ground out station downtown. <laughs> yeah. I'd check you out, but I don't have a magnifying glass. Oh, bastard. Okay, so he'd work on you, harm, but unfortunately, he's allergic to what's shrimp. What's going to happen here? Uh, I don't know about just, drinking isopropyl. It's not isopropyl. good. Just don't drink isopropyl. A lot of these are ethanol based. And if there's enough isopropyl in them. Well, uh, here's the thing. If a, distillery, if a distillery that makes whiskey made it, it's ethanol based. Yeah. Right. If it's isopropyl based, then it was made at a petrochemical factory because that's where you get alcohol, isopropyl alcohol right. comes from petroleum. Correct. Sorry, gotcha. So, you know, they put it in to denature it, i.e. so that you're not supposed to drink it. Just to remove the water. And we're joking. So don't drink it. Um, I mean, I'm drinking it, but you know, that's there different. are lawyers at the table. Don't drink this. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I mean, come on, man. I mean, yeah. you know, it's hard times. It's, you know, mm. yeah, they're, they're, they're get... all using different things to uh, denature. All right. Well, we'll be back. In a world of what are you's, welcome to the place where the answer is always human. My name is Natalie, and I'm the host of Some Kind of Brown. I was born and bred in the Southern Bible Belt of the U.S., and if you know anything about the South, growing up multiracial was some kind of an experience. Join me in this community where I share my stories, am joined by guests who share their own, and talk about pop culture events that affect us as mixed people. You can find Some Kind of Brown on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and most places you find podcasts. I'll see you there with some more Shades of Brown. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road, my darling Wondering if we're only passing through Open roads and open windows My hand is yours forever, sweet love And we're back and they're all rubbing each other with sanitizer It's very disturbing So, it's, so what's, uh, This was the optional exercise <laughs> So what's your <laughs> there ain't enough sanitizer in the world to let one of these guys touch me. So what's your ranking on our uh what's your uh We're talk about sips it. rating on MB Rowan? Oh, five sips, man. All right. God bless Smell him like for death. making it. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. All right. So we're gonna go to uh Hand me the that one there. No, this, next one over. Next one over. That one there. This one here? Yep. Rabbit hole. So we're gonna go to rabbit hole here. Um We've reviewed whiskeys from Rabbit Hole in past episodes, and they were founded in 2012 by uh, Dr. Kave Zamanian. Hey, Kave, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Rabbit Hole started out as a contract distilling producer. Don't hog all the, the, the stuff, man. Give, give me some. some uh... There's 19 others over there. So they started out as a contract uh, distilling producer. It's a company that contracts with an existing distiller to have them produce new make for them on their behalf using their personal recipe, barrel requirements, uh, yeast, and all that. But in 2018, uh, it finally opened their new distillery down at uh, 711 East Jefferson Street down in the Newa district of Louisville. Beautiful distillery, all glass and Gorgeous. Beautiful ceiling. Really gorgeous Got facility. A beautiful event space up on the top. I mean, they probably get about a thousand people in that room. And we've got an go. amazing view. I, I'm telling you, I'd like to be there when they have a hopefully, sip and sell, uh, next fun. year. They'll do the, uh, you know, they'll have the thunder again. Everything will get back on track because I think uh, the fireworks from there has got to be pretty amazing. 
Uh, so far, they produced and donated over 3,000 gallons to local healthcare workers in and around the Kentucky, Indiana area. So I want to say, uh, you know, good job to the guys at Rabbit Hole. So they're doing uh, doing some good work there. And I think I'm giving them five steps. Like death. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. What do you guys say? Nice? Oh, that's I, I definitely give it five sips. But, you know, I thought the, the first one, the MB Ron, was more floral. Yeah. More floral. Gives you a little bit more of a corny uh, aroma. Yeah, this one's pretty neutral on the nose. Uh, it's you know? got the lovely aroma of a petrochemical clean. plant too in too the summertime. This is the one we have to use on, on Brent. It's got a long finish of clean. Yeah. Again, I go back to the same one. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. There you go. And that's what they all kind of smell like. Yeah, so, <laughs> for sure. All right, so let's move on to our next one, Brent. Uh, why don't you tell us about that one? Okay, this one's the uh, Bourbon Mafia one. Now, Bourbon Mafia is not a distillery, and everybody knows um, uh, Maury, Bob, and myself are all uh, part of the Bourbon Mafia, and we're a nonprofit organization composed of high-end bourbon enthusiasts, industry professionals. Who, yes. Industry. industry professionals. That's right. Somebody we use our mutual love for our native spirit to help support local and national cherries. Uh, as a nonprofit, we were able to secure... The ingredients from several distilleries, uh, from Angel's Envy, Buffalo Trace, and Rabbit Hole, uh, to, to produce and distribute so over blend, 80 it's bottles. Not a, it's not a single So this is brand? a blend. This is three oh, distilleries. Right. It was, so it's a blend. We, had, we created 80 bottles of hand sanitizer and gave it to local businesses, first responders in the Louisville area and Lexington area. 80 bottles? Yeah. Yes. It, right. I want to know that the, this is glass. Everybody else is in plastic. You guys at the Mafia. You guys no, did well, it right. Well, we, we had to around. get what we had to get. It's yeah. the the way that came about was at the very beginning of this, before everyone had had geared up to make sanitizer. Um, some of the distilleries that had 190 proof grain alcohol that they sold, one of them being Buffalo Trace, mm -hmm. makes Clear Springs. They were uh, giving out cases of that to nonprofit organizations and to charities and to other places. You know, so you could make your own until they got up to speed, like, you know, everybody got up to speed. Yeah. So, um, so we were able to get the raw material there, but the other materials that we needed, um, we were able to work with the guys over at Angel's Envy, mm -hmm. um, because, uh, Wes and Kyle Henderson are both mafia members and they had the know how, they had the, the WHO formula, how to make it correctly. We got the rest of the ingredients. I and think, you put it in glass. I think you Rabbit Hole elitist. got us the bottles. Brad, um, so, what do you think? It's great. I mean, this is the only blend. Everybody else is a single. This is the a blended hand sanitizer. All right. Well, you know? here's here's the thing. There are a lot of bourbon groups out there. Some of them are doing some really nice charitable type of type of work. Some of them are just you know clubs of people who enjoy whiskey. Um, you know, we do a lot of charitable work, but we're the only one out there that's actually even making. You know, we're the only group out there I know that's making sanitizer and getting it out to the people that need it. Handing uh, it out. Yeah. Yep. So you know, hey. Good job for us. Good I job, give us, you guys. I give us uh, 90, yourselves on the back. 97 like sips for That's us. That's right. No, so. Real man wouldn't mind. I, I love the facts and glasses. Good. All right. Good so job. the next one we've got, Maury, tell us about that one. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Uh, the next one we'll talk about is the Manifest Distillery located in Jacksonville, Florida. Manifest is Jacksonville's only organic craft distillery. They were established in 2016. They produce whiskey, vodka, gin, and some liqueurs. Uh, they were initially selling some sourced uh, bourbon, which was uh, quite nice. Their packaging is beautiful. Their facility is beautiful. I've been there. The guys are great. Uh, today, we'll they made in. over 4,000 gallons of sanitizer, um, and they've uh, distributed it locally. Uh, I don't believe they had any of it for sale to the general public, but I believe it was distributed to first responders and needy businesses in the Jacksonville area. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, sanitizer. I love the packaging. It's probably the most user-friendly package. It's small. It's got a little pump. You can uh, hold it in your hand, squirt it on your hands. Smells great. Now, Looks this is great. the only one today we've actually got in, uh, with, that comes in the spray bottle. Yeah, usable. Yeah. Everybody oh, no, else has got, got one. bulk We've got another packaging. one that came in the spray yeah, bottle. I didn't see it. All the rest are mostly bulk packaging and a little harder to use. you got to put them in your own well, sprayer. Well, the thing is, is you know, when you're turning out quantity, you've got to get whatever containers you can get. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, now, if you're lucky to get, you're lucky to get, uh, you know, if your supplier has something interesting, then great. But. Get it out. That's the important thing. Yeah, no criticism there. But uh, this is a handy I like it little... because when you spray it, 
if you open really wide and pull your tongue down, it gets all the way to the back of your throat. Right. I, I wish nice, I wish they did it sprayer. in the binaca bottle. You remember the binaca? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Come on. That'd yeah. be where that'd, that'd be, be where it's yeah. at. But so, this is oh, I don't like that spray. stuff. It this burns. is nice. It's the smallest quantity sample, but it's uh, the most user friendly. Um, if this bottle's not here when we're done, Bob, uh, you'll know it might have fallen into my pocket on the way out. Don't get in your eyes, Don't get in your eyes. I'll do. All right, so what's your rating, Maury? Um, I give them five sprays for so an excellent death. effort. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. All right, Harm. Jep the Creed. Where is the Jep the Creed? Did I even get a chance to right here. spray this? Right there. It's Thank in the molasses you. bottle. Oh, this is a great bottle. I love the packaging Don't of Jep the Creed. Don't bogart the sanitizer. All right, so <laughs> so we've reviewed Jep the Creed in past episode. Uh, the the distillery was founded by a mother and daughter. Uh, My glass is choice. empty. Can you pass the Jep oh, yeah. please? Do not put it in your glass. Although this is this definitely looks like you want to pour it into a glass. Uh, this was the, the mother and daughter duo, Joyce and Autumn Nethery, uh, on land. What? There's been part of their could, on land. You, yeah. If you're going to read it, then actually read it. <laughs> yeah, Don't yeah. pick every third <laughs> word. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's been That's on there. It's been on there. Been, yeah. This is part of their family farm for five generations. They grow and locally source 100 percent of the ingredients, uh, creating the Jephthah Creed so they can help support local agriculture. They're also the only really ones out there the using here. bloody butcher corn. So this, you can smell mm. the corn. The sweetness yep. comes out in this hand sanitizer. I think this is a great thing. So far, they have donated over 600 gallons of hand sanitizer to first responders, police, and fire, and health departments, and hospitals. I the, This has got a really nice nose. Yeah, it's, it's got a good It's uh, got the most feel. corniness to it. It's a, yeah, it's it's a like big thing because, whiskey. you know, people don't realize how small of a distillery the they are. Yeah. So this, is a, this took They're a lot tiny. for them. This took a lot for them to do this. It was yeah. a, So big kudos to, you know, a distillery like this, to mom and, to uh, mom and, and I, uh, daughter I like, there. I like their glycerin level here. It's got a nice feel, and I would give this five uh, don't sips. You he likes the feel of it. The hand feel. It's got a creamy hand feel. It's got a creamy is, hand feel. Yeah, what is he going <laughs> to What exactly are you going to do with this? You guys are horrible people, but I do need hand sanitizer so after talking I've to you. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. Not about you, but I'm a little creeped out at his... Uh, Usage yeah. of sanitizer. Well, you know, you have to look at the hand feel. You have to. You have to notice that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> Brett. Wow. How do you feel about the next one. Just, so I want to. I want to mention just um, wow, Bob. You know, there's different recipes. This particular one, like several of the previous ones, um, they've added uh, glycerin and hydrogen peroxide, right. and purified water. That there's is, no isopropyl, no methanol. There is no isopropyl, really. So you can be blonde and clean. Yeah. yeah. The, the WHO recipe is the one that most of the large guys are doing. Zero isopropyl. So you no, don't, no, just it, don't no, drink it. No, the WHO one it. has isopropyl in it. Does it? Yeah, you don't yeah. need the isopropyl. You just need to denature it. And you can do that with peroxide or well, that's with uh, glycerin. The 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 recipe that we got when we did the mafia one included peroxide, isopropyl, and water, and ethanol. So that's that's mm. the one that's approved by them. But if you look at most of them, most of them say that. So so iron smoke comes in different packaging too. You want to tell us about that one, Brent? Sure, I sure will. Iron Smoke is a distillery located in Fairport, New York. That's just outside of Rochester, for anybody familiar with the area. And they are making hand sanitizer six days a week. So, if they, so far, they've produced over 61,107 gallons of sanitizer. Big are deal. they taking that's the seventh day off? Big or deal. Are they the, the Beatles this are making it eight days a week. You yes. know, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> Do they honor I the said eight days Is that what's going on? Yeah, 133,548 quart bottles, 419 55-gallon drums, 19 275-gallon totes. They are donating over a thousand quart bottles a week to healthcare workers and frontline at risk workers, and they have partnered with Rochester Midland Corporation to help with distributing to companies through the RMC's already established janitorial lines. They also have a website out called SmokeOutCovid19.com. Yeah, this is important, guys. Yep. Listen to this. Yep, SmokeOutCovid19.com for bartenders and hospitality workers everywhere getting virtual tips coming through that website. So you can go to that smokeoutcovid19.com and that's going to tip your bartender. It's yeah. going to be tipping your bartender that's not able to be there right now because yeah. of this. There's a that's lot a of a lot of thing. folks in the hospitality industry or you mean, know yeah. for lack of a better term yeah. they're screwed I, they, right now. They've gone out and did something different yeah. to help out besides and even, even the as things open, you know, yeah. bars and nightclubs yeah. or 
exactly. probably going to be some of the last things you're going to see opening. And even when they open, it's going to be pretty slim. Yeah, so yeah. these are the people, you know, these are the people at the best times of your life when you're out having fun and enjoying life and you're having a celebration or a party. These are the people that are helping you out. So or keeping you going, going home with the, the wrong chick. The other thing with this is that this Too one late actually, Too late. Uh, yeah, this uh, one actually does have a smokiness to the hand sand. It's like this one has. Smoking. Well, they 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 smoke some of the grain that they use in the production of the whiskey. So all of these pretty much all smell the same. They all <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. The <laughs> pretty Jeff much Creed had a. A different nose than this. They this, pretty much smell yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. They're, corn all, they're all nose. very similar. This one is smoky. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like smoky. standing outside smoky. the chain link fence at a yeah. petrochemical factory <laughs> in Houston. <laughs> Definitely yeah. smoky. But this sanitizer. one has got a smoky flavor. So I made sure that Brent got to do that one because we know <laughs> he know, is the I king of smoky whiskey. Some smoke. So is this, is this the only one that's getting a force? A four, uh, no, 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 no. This one gets, you know what? Get, they, they went they above and beyond. They went above and beyond. You know, they're good. They think it's a standard 90. Well, hey, you know they're not they're not a big big brand, and they're turning out some serious quantity in yeah. this, oh. and they're and, and they're doing been, stuff that they the can website. do to try and help people. Right. Well, they have a they have a concert venue, I believe, up at the distillery where they do music and everything as well. So they're apparently real into that. So, you know, thank you guys for all you're doing, and hey, five steps. Smell like death. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. There's five. All right, so we're going to move on to Wilderness Trail. So that's going to be Justin. The Wilderness Trail Distillery is another distillery we've discussed on past episodes. The distillery was founded by the owners of Firm Solutions, a leading research, product development, and engineering and technical service provider to the ethanol and distilled spirits industries. Spelled F-E-R-M, not like, you know, the proper spelling. Firm. F-E-R-M. All of their whiskeys are distilled, aged, and bottled at the Wilderness Trail Distillery. To date, they have produced over 40,000 gallons of hand sanitizer. They're saving lives, folks. Are they selling this one retail, or are they just doing this? I think they're mostly giving it to employees. Our sample says for employee sample only. No, they're not just giving it. <laughs> the company is not big gallons. enough. They're giving 40,000 gallons to the employees. No, that's what uh, they were kind enough to send me that small sample because literally that's all they had left was stuff that they had had for the people that work there. Everything else that they've done has gone out to hospitals, schools, first responders Excellent. in and around the Excellent. area. Um, you know, they've been turning over a lot of stuff. And, and, and the interesting thing about uh, them is, again, they're firm solutions. So, I mean, they started, you know, they're. Yeah, they're a fermentation lab. You know, that's that's where they started. You know, the, the, the it has the, a very different smell. Yeah, the distillery yeah, came nose. the distillery came after the fact. Um is, and, is and, this and as a result one? of. So I have I honestly I was gonna say this is the this is the only one that I actually received about six pages of, of material uh safety ah. data sheets. <laughs> so you can tell that these guys own a lab because I got a book with all of the chemical analysis and, you know, side effects and, you know, don't drink it, don't pour it up your backside, you know, don't pour it in your they eyes. They just call it the MSDS. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's got a really, a, a little bit of an off putting nose. It's on the hands, it's got a little bit of a peanutty smell. Yeah. Um, it's very peanutty. You're after right. I used it, I, I solved my firmness problem. There you go. Well, if you rub it long That's enough, personal. Yeah. most people. Yeah, if you keep rubbing it, eventually that it problem will, will go away. It will dry the skin a little bit much, though. Chaps. It was, chaps. The skin. It, was a, yeah. it was a bad joke was a on bed. Yeah, my mother told me not supposed to do that. You know, if you if you do stuff like that, or you'll turn to stone. I thought you go blind. She was partly right. You know, oh, but that's oh, Jesus. I can't go there. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. Stop it. Yeah, you don't want to go stop, there. Stop, stop. No, I wouldn't. How many sips were you giving this? No, I absolutely, don't sips. I absolutely wouldn't go Oh, there. five sips all day. Yeah. Five don't sips. She's like called the don't <laughs> sip rating. <laughs> no, real man wouldn't mind. I like that. Yeah, no, but if you if you got some, if you got somebody that you want to be running chemical analysis on your hand sanitizer, uh, yeah, I think these guys are a little bit qualified. So beautiful distillery, and they're turning out some amazing whiskey. There are new, new guys on the block, but... Uh, you know, they're turning out some really great whiskey uh, because of the fact they have that lab. They've been able to be making whiskey and aging it. They didn't have to put it out too soon like a lot of people do to be able to make ends meet. So uh, one of my favorite uh, new distilleries in the U.S. and in Kentucky, uh, their rye is 
stunning. I mean, absolutely amazing rye. So. They've been doing some single barrels. I've been hearing that, a lot of wilderness. Are they in Florida yet, Wilderness Trail? I think they just got into Florida. Yeah, I need I to get them, yeah. pick them up. There's been a lot of places doing single barrels with them that has been very, very popular. Yeah, I saw a lot of single barrels. Why don't you get one? The salesman yeah. hasn't approached me yet. Cheap right. bastard. Talk yeah. to the salesman. The I've got two more two single ways. barrels. We're out of our Fort, our Fort Lauderdale Whiskey Society single barrel. I've gotten to my last couple of bottles of that. And we got two more barrels coming in this year. So I've got three barrels this year so far. But uh, wow. we interrupt this program to annoy you and make things generally. I think that would be a crass commercial I think Stash had about three barrels this month. Oh man, they're huge. A wilderness? No, not wilderness. Not a wilderness. No, this is your no, barrel, it's barrel picks. Yeah, no, we haven't. They haven't done wilderness yet. I, I actually, when we went and picked, um, when we went and picked the barrels for stash in December, we were heading over that way. So I called into the to the guys that that we dealt with on the show when we re- did the review because we reviewed some wilderness trail products on the show, and I called them and they were kind enough to give us a you know backstage media type tour of the place and the guys awesome. the guys over at Sash loved it you know I mean it was great we were there on a day they weren't normally open so there was literally no one there but us and uh, we got to try quite a few of them and uh, the boys were very excited and I, I, I think as soon as they do start offering them here in Florida I have a feeling we're probably going to see a Fort Laura Whiskey Society uh, branded uh, single barrel of that coming out so we're kind of looking forward to that are they mostly rye, or do they do bourbon as well? They do bourbon too. Yeah. Yeah. But really, really nice people. Really, really nice people. So, oh goodness, I mean, if you guys want, I'll go get this data sheet. So, but it's got a lot of words with like twenty-seven syllables. Yeah, it's out of my, it's and out of I my can't range. really pronounce any out of my of that range. Shit, so, more than three syllables, I'm done. It's between mm. Scylla and Carbitus. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me grab this one. So, We'll uh, we'll start working on this next one here in just a second. Um, so, was there any one so far that you guys like the best? Oh, the mafia. The yeah, mafia smelled mafia. good. The Jepta Creek smelled good. Um, what's her, what's the, really the mafia good? bottle? The the bottle itself the is bottle impressive. Bottle itself, yeah, That's right. Really cool. The fact that it came yeah. from three different distilleries. Come on, good blend. And, you guys, you guys crafted it well. And you packaged it in glass. Very nice. We're the John Glazer of hand sanitizers. <laughs> hey, this is Olivia. And I'm Tashana. We're the hosts of Something's Not Right. We do a bunch of research and then we tell each other crazy stories. They're usually about true crime, but we're down to talk about anything strange or disturbing. So if that sounds like your kind of thing and you don't mind a little salty language, check us out. For more info on Something's Not Right, visit notrightpodcast.net. Hello, I'm Anthony. And I'm Dr. Issues. And we're hosts of Capes on the Couch, the podcast where comics get counseling. Superheroes don't always get to go home happy. That's where we come in. We offer psychiatric and mental health analysis of comic book characters. So check us out at capesonthecouch.live and across all social media platforms at Capes on the Couch. Hey, and we're back, and this is the cleanest, most sterile episode of Sip, Size, and Smokes you're ever going to listen to. We've been uh, re- talking about and discussing different hand sanitizers uh, made by some of our favorite distilleries. So we're going to go on to the next one. Let's go to one of the big dogs in the room. So, And it's also in a 175. Um, so we've got the folks from Sazerac, uh, Buffalo Trace. Uh, the Sazerac Company, the largest producer of dil- distilled spirits in North America, and parent company of Buffalo Trace they, Distillery. They went over Jack Daniels? That's what their website says, yeah. Mm-hmm, all right. Uh, was getting their operation up and running as they started, uh, while they were getting it up and running, they started donating high-proof alcohol, like I said, with the Mafia bottle. Um, they were donating cases of, uh, of Clear Spring, 190-proof grain, so that people could actually you know, make their own. And they were donating that to charitable organizations and hospitals. Um, they began production of hand sanitizer on uh, March 27th. And to date, they have produced over 650,000 gallons of 
sanitizer for some of the biggest organizations in healthcare, the government, U.S. military, retail, distribution, airlines, pharmacies, and banking industries. So I don't know what's going on with the guys at Purell, but these guys don't even make this stuff. And they've, you know, and this was, this was numbers I got from them about a week ago. So they're probably close, getting close into doing a million gallons because they're yeah. still running. And most of the stuff. stuff they're giving away, this is really not being sold retail yet. Although I have asked. Just so people can complete their collection, you know, you have to have your bottle of Wilton Oh, they are, they are now because they've caught up yeah. to the demand on on, yeah. on the stuff that they were giving away. Right. So now, oh, no, no, the, the, the yeah. distributors treating it like it's freaking Eagle Rare. Well, no, it's Taylor. You don't. We get, bought one. You don't have to get. Store. No, that's what I'm telling you. You don't get it through the distributor. You can just you can just through order through it online. Line. So if anybody out there is in need, several of these distilleries are to the point where they've caught up on the donations they've made, and now they're actually out selling it to. You know, people that actually need it. Um, Buffalo Trace has got it available, and B. Rowland's got it available. Uh, quite a few of them are, are, are selling it now. So. Oh, no, they're, they're signed through the distributor, too. They're just acting like it's allocated. Why would I go to the distributor? I just order it. You have shipped my tier system yeah, for hand sanitizer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have to. Oh, so oh. it's all about you. Dude, I see this, how dude, this, this is. This reminds, this reminds me of E.H. Taylor. Totally does. So, well, <laughs> if it... I think I think it's like twenty bucks for one of those bottles, but now that it's you says it's it, now that you say it smells oh, like E.H. Taylor, it's, now it's like three hundred. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred to one point seven five. Three hundred to five hundred <laughs> on the secondary. It is no, the pappy of sanitizer. No special, <laughs> no special tube though. Yeah, it didn't yeah. come no, in a velvet without bag. tube. Yeah, um, no, no tube, no, no, no bag, no, no sprayer, nothing. No. Yeah, but I mean, once once he, once they got up and running, man, these guys, this the guys is this is the Blanton's of hand sanitizer. So yeah. No, no, they couldn't possibly do it on that like, tiny little bottling line. <laughs> <laughs> you go on now and see them putting wax on the top of these. <laughs> yeah, there's no wax on this bottle. What's going on, Buffalo Trace? I'll go melt a birthday candle on it for you. There if you, you like. go. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna be giving uh, the folks at Sazerac Buffalo Trace five sips for all Absolutely the great work does. they're doing. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. Can we give something like just like one or two sips so we can especially another, for the uh, uh, especially for the high quality effect? volume yeah. they're doing? Yeah. Well, I think I got some Purell around here. We'll give them yeah. one sip. Heck with them. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Give them, give them Purell. I'm gonna give this one a four sip and a one sip, so five sips. Well, if we can get Maury <laughs> off his cell phone long enough, he no, can tell I'm, us about the next one. I'm reading about Sazerac says their goal is to produce a million bottles, which is pretty phenomenal. Well, that's the millionth bottle. Uh, someone tell for. someone tell Republic National because they're not selling retail yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, re I really want to put this. I really want to put this 1.75 liter hand sanitizer next to a 1.75 liter Buffalo Trace on the shelf. That'd be perfect, right? Awesome. Complete your, complete your collection. You got to catch them all. Why not? Got to get them all. All right. Well, our next sanitizer is coming from Burlock and Barrel out of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, during Prohibition, Jacksonville was a big player in the illicit booze trade. Back in the years before Prohibition, two brothers, Ken and Bill McCoy, owned a boatyard near Jacksonville, Florida shipyards. When their business faltered in the 20s during Prohibition, they began bootlegging whiskeys from the Bahamas, specializing buying only high-quality whiskey, which was never diluted, and having a reputation for fair dealings, the phrase, the real McCoy, uh, was coined, a phrase that stands today as a reference to the authentic article. Bill McCoy also invented the burlock, six straw-wrapped bottles, three on the bottom, then two, then one, that were sewn tightly into a burlap bag. This is where Burlock and Barrel took their name from when they opened their distillery in 2013. That to date, they have made over 1,000 gallons of sanitizer. Uh, so far, they've distributed to the Jacksonville Transit Authority, the local Army Corps of Engineers, the PGA, local museums, and first responders. Nice. So again, uh, you know, beautiful sanitizer, beautiful job, a tiny little startup distillery. They really only opened their distillery, which I have visited in their tasting room uh, at the beginning of this year. So um, their, their facility is beautiful. It's an old rehabilitated uh, uh, industrial building downtown. They've done a great job. And for little tiny guys, they've produced a, a whole lot of dis uh, sanitizer and really stepped up to help the local community. They're also the only one that was uh, initially available for sale to the uh, general public retail in Jacksonville. And they sold out in a matter of uh, minutes to hours. So kudos. Uh, I give the Burlack and Barrel Sanitizer Five sips. All right. Hold on. Let me be the judge of that. I've heard. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. Hold on. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. You're a sick man, Bob. You're a sick man. Do not it's going to take a little more than a gargle sanitizer to cure Bob's illnesses. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't think that stuff takes most of that stuff away. No. They say that once for life. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Harm. All right, sir. Uh, Brent, thank you for introducing me. My good old boy Harm here with Kings County. Kings County Distillery is located in the Paymaster Building in the historic Brooklyn Navy Yard, just steps from the legendary site of the Brooklyn Whiskey Wars in the 1860s in the former distillery district of the waterfront. Kings County whiskeys have won numerous awards and are mashed, fermented, distilled, and aged on site in Brooklyn. This is a very nondescript uh, hand sanitizer. It comes in glass in a 200 milliliter hand sanitizer bottle here. And this one, I'm not sure what other products that were versions they make of this this does have a very beautiful cream colored label the nose is full of corn and some uh, little sweetness going on there nice good good glycerin content and they have a, a label that has the entire f uh, uh was it the ftc or <laughs> was it the who who, who does this the, the i guess it's the ftc has a, has the whole disclaimer about do not drink this yeah, Although it's it from Brooklyn. Uh, it's it's from definitely Brooklyn. got a lot of corn yeah, on the nose. It's, it's the, yeah, right? So this bottle, uh, if you're familiar, it's their same packaging that they use for their whiskeys. They often package in these flask-shaped bottles. Yeah, yeah. 200 milliliter 200, 375. Do not confuse the two. Yeah, don't, don't do it. This one is not the one that doesn't have any color because it is clear. And, you yeah, know, I want to nice give, it, corn, I wanna give it five sips. I really do. But should we give it five, four sips just to play the sound? No, four and one. Four and one. So let's do a four and a one. <laughs> Which one do you want first? The Play four the four the first, obviously. Okay, everybody. Drinks on the house. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and then there's one. It does not deserve one. There you go. does not deserve the one. It deserves the five. Thank you, gentlemen. Or All I know is they could make sanitizer for the rest of their lives. There's not enough sanitizer on earth to clean Brooklyn. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brent. So Brent, they've distributed a lot to first responders. They were kind enough to yeah. uh, to send that out uh, to, again, help yeah. anybody in the healthcare industry. Brent, do you have your bottle there? That's the Angel's This Envy. is the Angel's Envy one. So, nice. yeah. It doesn't come in the same bottle, though. No, it's a glass, nice glass bottle here. The Angel's Envy distillery was a vision and dream of the legendary Lincoln Henderson. And, uh, ooh, wow, I spilled a little bit. Don't. That's all right. Oh, you can clean it. Oh, oh! Do not rub this below. Do not rub this down below. Mm-hmm. When you get extra, you know what it is, Brent. Is when you're shaving down there, you're having micro nicks. <laughs> so you micro-nicks. should probably don't don't apply this after shaving down there. So uh, Lincoln Henderson, uh, he was an inaugural inductee into the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame after 40 year career at Brown Foreman, where he created the such notable brands as Woodford Reserve, Gentleman Jack, and Jack Daniels Single Barrel. He went on to establish Angel's Envy with his son, Wes Henderson, and grandson, Kyle Henderson. Hey, guys. They have made over 1,000 gallons of sanitizer to date, which has been distributed to hospitals and first responders. So this is all this for, this for is all going over to the local areas in, in Kentucky for the most part. Is Although where, you know people are buying this stuff on secondary and collecting because they're crazy. Uh, you would think a probably lot of them somebody are, cra- are crazy listeners. There's a lot of there's a lot of crazy uh, bourbon drinkers that'll just about go buy anything that says uh, the the label of something of the distillery on it. Mm-hmm. Like I have to have that. Now, you know, there's a couple distilleries that are not listed. I don't know if they ever made anything or not, but people go crazy over this stuff, and they're just like, so the Buffalo Trace, like, yeah. Um, yes, maybe I do have to go get this. Uh, yeah. Fine, you put it on the shelf right now. You know, time. but the thing is, is that Angel's Envy is usually a finished product. Yeah, it's they sourced. don't have anything that's not finished. You know, isn't, it's isn't it all source whiskey? It's no, no. They're like, making their own. But that stuff's still in barrel. It's not. It's not. It's not ready to sell. Uh, I believe. It, I believe some of it. Are I believe they're coming, making they it themselves long enough. Stop? What for the Angels Envy? Is there stuff that's in barrel? Is that really actually being bottled right now? Or is that still still being aged? I think they're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, because yeah. everything that's it's, on the shelf right now is sourced, but it's all finished by them. But yeah, so but so this is not a finished sanitizer. It is the real just, thing. There's no Where's my port there's wood no, finish? Uh, right, there's no uh, no finish on this, no rum finish or port finish, which is very unusual for Angel's Envy. Have yeah, you I had like the tawny the, one? I like the Caribbean rum finish. The Caribbean rum finish is but that's good. only for rye. That's only for rye. Don't do it for this. You know, I like sanitizer's corn whiskey. 
I don't care. I and like stuff. I like the no, rum corn thing. whiskey. Well, we don't have a mash bill from any one of these sanitizers. I'm yeah. sort of disappointed oh, I'm in sorry. you guys. Did you have the, is that in the MD, <laughs> MSDS for these guys? What kind yeah. of yeast are they using? Yeah, you need the, to know the yeast. Hell, you know how do they get yeast? Have you been to Publix lately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't buy yeast. Good God, I could I, if I had a box full of little packets of yeast, I could I could trade that for like you know <laughs> heroin. Paper. Yeah. <laughs> True. So I'm thinking, has anyone thought of, because you know, these are generally not aged uh, products, have we thought of maybe using staves to give them a little bit of color, a little bit of depth? No? I have one of those little mini- I think you've been sniffing too much sanitizer, right? I've sniffed a lot of sanitizer today, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it near your eyes. This is a radio show, you knucklehead. Nobody your- knows if you're actually putting it in and smelling it. I mean, you could just I know, be faking I, it. I am an honest reviewer. I've put every hand sanitizer we have uh, reviewed today on my hands. I am the cleanest hands around. Oh, yeah. That's a first, Brett. My wife still yeah. won't let me get near her, even with my clean hands. I didn't even know That's your hands got that color, Brent. I know that. Yeah. Oh, dear Lord. All right. So what's your rating? Uh, we're going to give this one a clear five sips. I see what you did there with the word yes. clear. It was clear. It was no, clear. real man wouldn't mind. You, you got the clear part? Harmy, yeah. you're so sanitized. You're looking a little less brown today. <laughs> you're such a racist. It doesn't come off, dude. It doesn't come off. I think this, it's coming this, off. Despite how hard my wife scrubs, <laughs> it's still brown. She's not trying to make the brown come off. She's just trying to make the smell come off. That's oh. right. That's not racist. That's just that's called taste. Yeah, that's just where's, taste where's and class. Answer? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, don't you have that programmed See, in there? Where's your you're the curry. racist thinking it's because you're brown, you son of a... No, have you smelled yourself? You have yeah. swarthy son of a... All right, no, so we're going no. on to uh, Heaven Hill. And Heaven Hill, oh, none of you getting to heaven. heaven. None of you are getting to heaven. Uh, bulk sanitizer operations have been uh, undertaken at Heaven Hill's Bardstown facility at oh. their Deep Eddy Vodka plant in Buda, Texas. And at the Black Velvet Distillery up in Lethbridge, oh, Canada. Oh, I forgot Heaven Hill bought Deep Eddy. I forgot about that. I didn't so, know that. Yeah. These efforts are going to continue to support healthcare facilities and first responders and high-risk populations in cooperation with local and state governments. They've produced more than 150,000 liters to date so far. Let's see. I have a breakdown here. They actually they, they gave me the most information. Uh, the Evan Williams Bourbon Experience in downtown has distributed 16,100 ml bottles and 2,750 ml bottles. Uh, Bardstown has done 16,000 gallons produced and bottled into 288,000 bottles. Wow. Dripping Springs, uh, the Deep Eddy Vodka plant in Dripping Springs has done 501 gallon jugs and 5,100 ml bottles. Who's else, who else I, is in Dripping no. Springs? Is that Ghost Hill? <laughs> I uh, think that, so, yeah. yeah this, that's good. And I hope then they their, don't their Buddha, it. Texas, uh, their, their Buddha facility for Deep Eddy has done 8,000 gallons produced. Most of that's going to uh, local distribution through HEB, which is a big grocery store chain over there. Um, and then uh, Lethbridge, the Black Velvet, is doing 1,400 cases of 375 bottles. That's 24 bottles each. So they've been distributing huge, huge, huge quantities themselves. And they've done an amazing job, like all the rest of them. So they were kind enough to send us a little sample here. And let's give them... You smell like death. Five I'm sips. Hurt. You know, a real man wouldn't mind. And although I don't have a sample of it here, uh, Made Man Mike actually has uh, some uh, than we did on the Facebook Live. He had some from Diageo. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, and Diageo, nice. everybody's heard of... You know, It's this little craft uh, operation out of Europe. Um, they make a few billion gallons a year. Um, Diageo, the maker of Johnny Walker and Smirnoff, has pledged to be able to make uh, more than 8 million bottles of hand sanitizer by donating up to 2 million liters of alcohol. Um, they've done 500,000 liters of grain neutral spirits in the UK, 100,000 liters in Italy, 500,000 liters in USA, 50,000 in Brazil, 135,000 liters in Kenya, 500,000 in India, better call your relatives, and 100,000 liters in Australia. So... They're putting their name on the map. Yeah. In Santa Like I said, let me tell you, Diageo, they're a very fine company. It's a very small In India, we drink more Johnny Walker Black than they make for the entire world. Yeah, well, that's because <laughs> it's, it's, it's spelled Johnny Walker with two Ks. Oh, no, my, my, my fake, dad right? sent me this uh, video on, uh, was it WhatsApp, where the, the Indian ATF busted these guys <laughs> refilling old bottles. Oh, man, horrible. Horrible. All I, can, all I can tell you is the first time I saw one of those... Uh, bad labeled bottles 
I've never wanted anything no, in my are, life these are so real, much. <laughs> real label bottles oh. filled with counterfeit spirit, and they've got the seals. It's great. All Thank right. you, guys. <laughs> well, hey, congratulations for finding us today. We hope you had a little bit of a laugh today on our hand sanitizer review during the great COVID-19 smokeout. Uh, you can find us wherever you found this one, as well as online or on terrestrial or satellite radio. You can catch all of our episodes online as well on SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, YouTube, PRX, uh, Apple Podcasts, pretty much Google Play, any place you can find a podcast. The easiest way to listen to our show is to ask the lady on your phone, play podcasts, sip suds and smokes. We love your feedback. You can reach us online at info at sipsudsandsmokes.com. And our daily tasting notes flow out on Twitter every day. And our Facebook page is always buzzing with lots of news. You can also interact with thousands of other fans on there. Uh, we're also on Instagram at Sip, Suds, and Smokes or at Made Man Bob. Uh, do us a favor and take the time to rate this episode. Try and be kind. Remember, it's 2 a.m. here. Uh, if you're listening to us online, it's a big help to us, and we get to see your feedback as well. So I want to thank. Who the hell's that Nobody. guy there? You're not thanking anybody. I've never are you? seen anybody. Is that Brent? He's well, never been that clean in his life. Well, I'm also not wearing any pants. <laughs> That's the only reason I could tell it was you. <laughs> I swear. Thank you, sir. May I have another? And Made Man Maury. Thank you, Bob. It's been an enlightening and sanitizing experience. And thank you, Justin. Thank you, Bob. And thank you to all these distillers for helping flatten the curve. And, um. What's your name, scumbag? Harmeet. Good, good, good old boy, Harmeet. That's right. Thank you, Harmeet. Thank you, Bob. I, I disdain everything you say, except I do love all the whiskeys you present us with. Today, the hand sanitizers, I'm, I'm just sad. I don't like you. <laughs> Shouldn't have drank them. Should not have drank them. You guys are dumber than a box of hair. This has been a one tan hand production of Sip, Suds, and Smokes, a program devoted to the appreciation of some of the finer slices of life. From the dude in the basement studios, your host, the good old boys, will see you all next time.